Hello guys, welcome to another video. We are back here together with this Alpha 33. Today we are to disassemble the whole suspension front and back, also here the steering box and the brakes. Everything is it is to come off of this body shell, so nothing but the interior to go, okay? And then it will go to the body shop. This is a sample is going to be a little bit faster that, that I was anticipating and that uh, gives me the chills because the body work will, it will be very expensive. Okay, let's call it that. Okay, so we are almost done. Just the suspension brakes and then on another video the interior to go. About the interior, I probably will separate it on two videos. One for the the seats and the roof liner and the doors and whatever and another one maybe for the dashboard what do you think about that okay so let's go on the last episode we took out here the engine and for that i took out here the subframe and everything that you can see is already out if you want to see that video it is down on the description the link for it okay so here on the front suspension not a lot to do just to take out here the strut and to take that down there the tie rod the, the outer tie rod and take out here the brakes to the side and later take out the brakes all together of the car take out here the power steering box and on this side the same the same stuff take out here the strut the brakes to one side okay so i'm preparing here my set to record here on the back of the car nothing is pre-disassembled so far i just have to take out the wheels and on the interior of the car you have to reach the top nuts for the shock absorbers and uh, in this way removing everything it is not very difficult to remove this uh, rear suspension but uh, it is everything from underneath the car Many of you ask me why do I hit the suspension elements instead of using a, a tool for that. The answer is very basic. I do not have the puller to do that. Old school it is. All the money that I can uh, afford for the channel, I have to use it on parts and tools. Yes, tools also, but this, that one is the lower of my priorities. Okay, so I hope you understand that. So taking out here the pads, I did already a bunch of videos about brakes, calipers, pads, uh, fluid, purging or bleeding. Okay, it is down on the description if you want to take a look at that. Okay, I also down on the description there are links for helps for the channel if you are able to, to do so. So take out here this covers about the wear wa warning wire i will cut it because i have new pads to put in it new and original hooray now i just have enough space to take out here the bolts from behind and take out this caliper to a side the, i will however replace the here this uh, flexible brake hoses so i will not secure the caliper the weight of the caliper in any shape or form Very nice, very nice bolts, really very nice. So down you go. Now my <laughs> my new enemy, this sensor for the ABS. It's working, my ABS of this car is working. It was not when I bought the car, but now it is, or it was when I stopped the car, okay? So I will try to remove it. Ah, I really hope so. <laughs> so this is the part of the car that uh, it is very rusty. This car had a very rough, rough life because the owner or the wife of the owner used it every day to work near the beach. So, <laughs> okay, I, I was able to save it. It's not that bad on the inside, but if I'm able to purchase new ones i will however this will be plated whatever the ability to find new ones or not okay how can i do this without damaging anything let's try it like 
Yeah, it's moving. Lucky bastard. <laughs> Very slightly, okay? I'm not... No, I'm not damaging anything. Yay! Hooray! Really nice. I will just take out here the, the rotor to be able to have less weight to work with because of my back, okay? So this pin here secures the rotor in place and also helps you to guide the wheel in place when you are assembling a wheel. Here it is, the pin. I have new rotors to put, so to take out this ones, a very good tip that I um, saw online, it was from Kent from Mercedes Source. Thank you for that, Kent. It, it is to uh, hit it. Now, you can't hit it from behind over here, okay? But if you are not able to do so, you can hit it in between the holes and it will bend ever so slightly the rotors and it, they, it will come off or help to come off. I think it's coming off. Rotate it as you are hitting, not to bend the hub. Yeah, it's coming off. Be patient, and here it is. It is too thin already, so it will go to the scrapyard. And uh, I will remove the bearing. Yeah, the bearing I think is good, but I will put new ones because I want to power powder coat here the hub assembly. Now, you also have here the bolts for the heat protection. And you have these indentations over here that may or not be present just because of this, but uh, they will help you. I bought a new extension over here. And two new ratchets, because my ratchet that broke on the donor engine, uh, really I have to purchase a new one. So I purchased a new, I already saw it on some several videos, that blue one, the half inch and the quarter inch too, a new one too. Not uh, expensive tools, just the ones that I was able to found on the... A general store it was about 25 euros everything so two ratchets in this extension nothing really too expensive because I want to I really want to be able to find all the parts that I need for these projects and the tools will fail eventually so expensive or not I prefer for now not so expensive there you have it. I hope I can, I'm able to save it. Okay. And I'll take out here these four bolts for releasing here the hub. So this is the four bolt style of the top mount of the shock absorber. I know that some are three bolts. I don't remember if it is the newer, I don't think it's the newer, newer style, if I remember correctly. Thing is, if you are buying top mounts or whatever, you have to make sure to have the right uh, type of shock mount. On this shock absorber, uh, let me see if I can understand what is the needs of it. Already put some boots and bump stops a few years ago, but the boots were new old stocks, so the rubber perished a bit sooner than it was it was expected that washer over there is cracked so i have to find washers like this okay new ones or used and plate them securing here with my right hand the strut the Mc mcpherson strut i believe it's a bit different and down you go so yes on this side the abs sensor hurt me on the other side and decided not to come off, okay? The, it is working despite the fact of this uh, uh, protection is all rotten, but it is uh, working. I want to preserve it and later do a, a new protection over here. Uh, I'm trying to take it out the same way I took it, took the other one, but this is not coming out in the same way. So 
So possibly I want to take out, I have to take out the sensor all the way with the hub and try uh, on the bench. I think is that is the best way to do it. But in the meantime, I want to put a piece of wood over here and try with that. See if I can do something or not. I think not. So on the bench it is. So using this large screwdriver may appear to be very uh, a very rude way to do this, but uh, actually it is a bit better because we have a large surface area in which to do your force and in that way will not be so bad for the rubbers. So this will go down I believe and in that way try not to damage anything else and just like this comes out. So this one is this bad, this bearing. So four new bearings it is. Take out here the steering box. You want to take out the, the joint. Afterwards I will see if the joint has any play on it or is or if it is binding. So this nut is specific for this application because it is a self-locking nut and uh, the bolt itself it also may be specific because of the thickness of it sometimes they are this one does not seem to be so normally you want to push this back but uh, this one does not have any telescopic regulation so what you'll do is to pull the string box out and in this way it will come out i believe very ingenious this this system to lock the the bolts in place and here we have a clip instead of a uh, of a rivet very ingenious very nice <laughs> One, two bolts and uh, this uh, sheet metal. Over here we have this uh, tie rod. It is bad on that, okay. The adjustment is over here. Let's get with it in another video. And over here I have to replace here this bushing on the other side. It is exactly the same story. Jesus. It's a big bolt, and on this side, oh, come on, where are you, there, also very big, not so big, yeah. Now because of the steering shaft it is a bit stuck on there, so let's try to take it out without damaging anything. Hey. 
Now, you may ask me, why are you so quiet? Normally, I'm a very quiet person. And um, the only reason why I talk too much sometimes on videos is because life has given me some uh, lessons about that, about being more communicative. But also, I have this very quiet side. More than that, I think this collection of videos for the 33 do not need a lot of talking. I think they really need is a lot of uh, detail. And I think I am being able to provide that. Uh, over here, for example, to take, to remove here the uh, inside panels and whatnot, uh, they are very self-explanatory. Although I tried to show you all of the key uh, aspects of it. Okay. One thing that I did not show is how to remove the C pillar cover, the um, the grommets that it has on the inside. That plastic clips are just. Uh, just the same as they are on any other car, modern car. Over here I was very uh, concerned about the rust. I applied a bit of ATF fluid, do not have any spray to put in right now, so I think ATF fluid is very good, and in fact it is. This job does not need to be done prior to the, um, the job underneath the car, but uh, I do have to, t to remove everything on the inside of the car, so for now it is disassembled. Over here on this nut, do not take out, do not remove all the way, just remove here almost all the way. And now begin your work on underneath the car. In the meantime, I want to remove all of the brake fluid from the car, and for that I'm using still my here my pump, my manual pump, to insert air, not fluid, just air pressurized air throughout the system. In that way, by opening the bleed screw, for example, there on the rear left of the car, that circuit for that wheel will will be completely out of oil, out of fluid, and just with air. In that way, I can open that one or I can open two at a time, I can open the four at a time and it, in that way removing all the fl fluid of the system. There is a more, much more clean way to do it and if you do not have this tool of course you can let it rip to a tray for example but it will be a little bit messier. My idea here is to take out here the control arms, the upper one, the lower one. To take out the lower one, you have to take out here also the handbrake cable. On this side, I will remove here the flexible brake hose and it will come attached to the caliper. And on there, the ABS sensor, again, very rotten on the outside, but it is working perfectly. So we will take out the cable with the hub assembly, with the axle out and then on the bench we'll see how to deal with this.
okay now removing here the handbrake cable for this uh, replacement on the alpha 147 and in fact for the gt and the uh, 156 already have a video it is down on the description on the brakes playlist okay it's not that difficult but i'm just being a bit more on In here on the shock absorber because I have low clearance between the low between here the axle and the ground I will have to remove this nut over here this nut goes to the shock okay and this way when lowering the the axle the shock will be in place although on top is already ready to go and the spring will come off with the axle because I do not have enough uh, room because the shock is very very long now here the the solid pipe for the brake hose I hope I can remove it oh my god it's really, really stuck on there how can I do this really stuck on there I have to counteract this force with something. Okay, lucky I guess, very lucky. So as you can see no oil is, is dripping down on my face, that is very good. Now here on the ABS sensor, we have to remove it from and inside of the car and also over here, okay. Again, a large screwdriver because it will not pinch onto the sensor or the cable. Okay, now on the inside. like on the front we have here the connector this one's uh, because they are on the inside of the car normally they do not do not crack as much but this one is already very bad let's see yeah comes off much much easier
So here you go, the axle is out, along with the brakes and the ABS system. So on the next video, what should I do? I'm thinking here, once I have the interior starting to come off, resume that part of the interior, take out all of the seats and the carpets and the door panels. And, and on a separate video, take care there of that area of the battery, of the brakes, uh, climate control, and finally remove all of the bits of uh, piping and uh, clips and whatnot from the underneath the car and there on the areas of the wheels. What do you think about that? Uh, so I, I think uh, that is it. Um, two, three more videos to go to the body to go to the body guys. And uh, this part was easy because it did not cost me anything. The, the next part to the assembly it will be unbelievably expensive, although I, I do have a lot of parts. The parts are for the gearbox, are for the engine to do overhauls, of, okay? But uh, the body itself, well, I just need the uh, money for that. If you are able to do a help for the channel down on the description, I have links for that, okay? I'm thinking about doing a tier specifically, specifically for 33 and another one for the 75, okay? Um, I'm talking about Patreon, okay? So if you want to do a simple donation, I have PayPal. If you want to do a monthly donation for the 33, for example, I have PayPal for, for that, okay? Guys, I really hope you like this video. I really hope you can enjoy the content that is being created so far, okay? I'm uh, a bit sick. My voice is not all that great, and I haven't. I and I having the cold sweats today. But uh, I really have to do this. Uh, I really have to finish the disassemble of this car because I have to move on with this project. This car has to be on the road immediately. I really need, uh, not really need, but I really have to see this car running because it is driving me nuts. It is. It really is. Um, and I really do want to, to produce with that quality content. Again, down in the description, you have a lot of videos related to this kinds of uh, stuff. I have videos for suspension, for brakes, for ABS, for lack of power, crank no start. Starting to have a, now, this year, uh, different videos for Fiat models, for example. A lot of crank no starts on this year, okay? So, i see you next time, guys. Bye!